Still working with the curve tools, we're now going to be talking about parabolic curves and conic curves. There are three tools that concern these, conic, parabolic, and tangent conic tools. I'm going to be talking about these two in this section. The conic curve, if I left click, give us a little more room here, I pick a beginning of my cone, end of conic, and the apex. This is actually where the point of the cone is going to be, although the cone curve doesn't appear until I left click here, and at this point I'm controlling the height. If I go below my starting points, it disappears, as you can see. So we can get sort of a conic or a rounded dome shaped curve here. So I'll left click to finalize my curvature point. There you have a conic cone. Parabolic curve, found here, we choose focus, direction, and then endpoint, which controls how the parabolic curve interacts with our focus, as you can see. The farther I get away from the focus, the longer that white line becomes, the larger this is going to be. If I'm on this side of it, I can make a needles type shape. And on this side, we make a very large, rounded sort of curve. The focus is always going to be the anchor, sort of the center point. As you can see up here, I have marked focus turned to no. What that means is that when I'm finished, this center point is going to disappear. If I change this to yes, then left click, the point remains for my reference. Another thing I can do with the parabola curve is choose half. And just like it sounds, what this is going to do is create half of a parabola, or half of a parabolic curve. And again, my focus is left over. If I right click, this is going to create a parabola by vertex. I click here, then I click my focus, and then I'm steering out to the side to create my parabolic curve. And as you can see, the half setting is still selected. I unselect that, and we're making quite a gigantic parabola. I'm going to zoom back in here. If I right click on my conic tool, start of conic, end of conic, apex, and there's our conic. Perpendicular at start. The left click, start, end, and once again, start. This time I'll click perpendicular and so basically the conic tool can be used to create a conic shape in any direction I can also pick apex and then end of conic and do it that way I'm right clicking here to repeat my conic tool or I can pick tangent end of conic and then apex. All of these create very similar conic shapes as you can see.